Well, hello everyone. This is Angela from Someone with Gray Hair, reviewing silver gray and white wigs, hair pieces, and hair toppers. And this is Patsy. Patsy comes to us from Uni Uniwigs in the La Vivid collection by Albert Awad. Love saying that name. Such an elegant name. Such an elegant wig. This is how she comes. Nice box. Unique alternative hair. <laughs> That's what we say. We have alternative hair. And when you open the box, there's the tissue paper. Obviously, I took her out of the box. Um, and also, there were a couple of gifts in the box. There were a couple of hair combs. Always can use those. And a wig cap for those of us who use wig caps. So thank you, Uniwigs, for those gifts. Now let's talk about this wig. You may, when you first opened the video, said, wow, she looks different. Yeah, I rarely do salt and pepper because I'm mostly white. And not that I, I, I don't pretend uh, or try to fake people out. Most of my friends know I, I wear wigs and toppers and all that, and I'm not ashamed of that. But I, I think if somebody didn't know you, you had a wig on, they would not know with this wig. She's very light. She's like 2.33 ounces. So you know wigs, you, you have a winner with this collection. I've actually been looking at this wig for a while, and I've seen probably 10 people at least review this wig. Uh, if you haven't seen Taz's review, she does a fabulous review of this wig. And like I said, she's very, very light. Now, I tend to like my hair a, a little bit smoother. Some people like their hair very messy. I'm going to call me old-fashioned, whatever. But I do like to have it just a little neater, you know, around my face. But one of the things that I love is how this wig has so much white in it and all those white fibers framing your face it's just wonderful let me do a spin for you oh she does have some permatees up here you know like if you press down on her she kind of feels like like batting you know if you if you're a sewer and that batting stuff <laughs> That's kind of like what Permatees feels like to me, and there's probably not too much of it, uh, but it to me, I mean, you do want some height. If, if it didn't have Permatees, then it would lay very flat to your head, and in a short wig, I don't think that that would be very attractive. So let's do the spin. Here's the left side. I just can't get over, I, when I, I've got three mirrors in this, in this room, and every time I look at myself with the short hair, I just... <laughs> I'm just not used to it. So there's the back. Right? And my hair is in a ponytail underneath here. So I have pulled the wig right underneath that ponytail. She's not going anywhere. So if you've got hair and you could pull it into a ponytail, you don't really need anything. I mean, I might take a couple of bobby pins and crisscross them in the back, but you don't really need to if you've got the ponytail. She's not going anywhere, anywhere. I put gold jewelry on today because I usually wear silver jewelry, but for those of you who do like gold, uh, I thought I would wear gold jewelry for you. I will put the specs below. I don't want this video to get too long, but I really wanted to get this video out. I've had the, I've had the wig for a few days, but with all the COVID and everything, she sat in my foyer for a while before I opened her for a few days. And then even after I opened her, I waited another couple of days <laughs> just to be sure. Um, so just a couple of different looks. If I took off the, uh, the gold, Earrings. I love these earrings. These are from Swarovski. Where's the... They're pretty. About $100. Um, and then I have them in silver. Because I'm a silver girl. So now you see how the silver... Again, ladies, I'll put the specs down below. Just to review, she weighs about 2.33 ounces. She's very light on your head. 
very light. You hardly even know she's on there. This earring is giving me trouble. <laughs> it figures when you're, when you're recording, things happen that normally don't happen. Um, so there's the other one. And then let's take this off because we don't want this with gold. And let's put on some black and gold. Now that's a little bit much with those earrings, isn't it? So I probably would just wear, wear the earrings or just wear the necklace, right? So um, that just gives you an idea. And then you could pop a headband on with her, the square bands as we call them. They fit like sunglasses, and these have little rhinestones. Are they rhinestones? No, this is Mother of Pearl. But it's so pretty because it does glitter. All that glitters. And then, you know, you just smooth your hair over your... I could absolutely go to work like this. I could absolutely go to business with this look. So, yeah. I just love this wig. The fibers are very light, very light. She is, she, she's just very realistic looking. So you could mess her up, zhuzh her up, you know, however you want to do it. But as I said before, I will drop links down below. Uh, the way I have her right now is she's more of a conservative look for me. Um, de depending upon what you put with her, a, a denim jacket anything an elegant dress smooth her down a little bit you know wigs you have a winner with patsy and obviously you know it because a lot of people are reviewing this wig and thank you so much for the opportunity to showcase patsy y'all have a great day thanks so much for watching if you like give it a like and subscribe and take good care wash your hands bye-bye